Hey, it's Nathan with creativesandmarketing.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Creative Hub that's available in the Facebook or Meta Ads Manager. Now, the Creative Hub lets you build ads like in a ad building workspace. So it's a little bit cleaner than building it when you're building your campaigns. Also, the Creative Hub lets you share your ads with your clients. So if you have clients and you're doing work for them and you wanna show them your ads that you've made, you can send them a link to the Creative Hub where they could quickly review the ads and give you a yes or no if they want you to run them. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are in the Ads Manager and you wanna to go to your All Tools area. So on the left-hand side, All Tools, and we'll come on into Creative Hub, which is under the Advertise area. So I'll click into Creative Hub. So this is a Creative Hub right here, and you can add collaborators to your hub. So if you have other people that are creating ads, you could go ahead and give them access to your Creative Hub. So that way they could build ads right into your hub. And then you could decide later on if you wanna import them to your Ads Manager or not. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and close this right now. You also wanna make sure that you're under the correct account. I've seen where Facebook will automatically change this for you. And so you might not actually be in the ad account that you think you're in. So it's always a good idea just to double check that you're in the correct account before you start building stuff. Now you may also see that I already have an ad right here. So this is where all the ads will go as we build them, but we'll go ahead and create a brand new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on create mockup right here. And then we go through the whole ad creation process. Now I have another video all about the ad creation process. So link in the description down below if you need help creating an ad, because I'm not gonna go through every single Single step in this video as this video is more about how to actually use the creative hub rather than create an ad and I already have a video on the topic so anyway we'd go ahead and create our ad so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a name and I'd go through all the steps in order to create my ad so I'm gonna quickly do that once you've created your ad you can see how it's gonna look in all the different placements that are available and if you realize like one placement doesn't look good like maybe right here you realize that it's cutting off the image because this is kind of like a long rectangle shape whereas my image is basically a square image so I could go ahead and edit my right column option right here. And I could go ahead and like change the image out completely. Like maybe I don't want to use that image because no matter how I crop it, it's not going to look good in that particular location. So I could go ahead and swap it out. Let's say I swap it out with this one right here. And if I'm happy with it, I could go ahead and click on save. And so in that particular placement, my ad would look like that instead. Now, once you're all happy with your mockups, you can come back out You can just come up to the top and click on mockups. And now you'll be at the Creative Hub again. And let's say that you wanna go ahead and share this with your client to get their permission before you start running these ads. You can just come up here to these three dots and you can go ahead and click on the share link option. And then you wanna go ahead and flip on link sharing, link sharing, and then you can select the number of days that you want this link active, so 30 or 60. So you can select what's relevant for you. I'll just do the 30 day. And then it gives you this link right here that you can go ahead and send to your client. Now you also have the option right here to allow them to import into their ads manager. So maybe you're just spinning up ads and you're giving people the mockups and they can go ahead and import them to their ads manager and run them however they see fit. So if you wanna enable that, you could go ahead and tick this block I'll tick it just for the sake of example. And then we can go ahead and copy the link. And then I could go ahead and email it to my client and they could go visit the link and check out the ads that I created for them. So the link will look like this. So we'll go to this link right here. And so basically it looks just like the Creative Hub except they can't edit the ads, but they can scroll on through here and make sure everything looks good and all that type of stuff. And then since we enabled that option, the individual could go ahead and import the ads to their ads manager and run the ads in whatever campaign they want to. But let's come back over to the Creative Hub and we're gonna close out of here. Now let's say that you wanna go ahead and be able to run these ads in your ads manager. We need to go ahead and turn on this option right here, show an ads manager. We'll go ahead and turn that on and I'm gonna turn this one off so I don't confuse myself. So now when I go create an ad, I should see the option to add an ad from my Creative Hub. So let's go to the Ads Manager and check it out. So over here, go into the Ads Manager and I'll just create a brand new campaign from scratch real quick. I'll do a sales one and continue and manual sales campaign continue. And I'm gonna make sure that my use catalog option is turned off because the ad I'm trying to import is a single image ad. And then I'm gonna hop down to the ad right here and scroll on down to the ad setup area and click the drop down. And I don't see the option to import from the Creative Hub. And that's because I need to change my creative source. I need to change it to manual upload. And then also the format default was carousel. And the ad I'm trying to import is a single image or video. So I need to select that option and then come back to ad setup and then I can use the Creative Hub mockup, select that option. And then here's my demo right here. And we'll go ahead and confirm. And it pulled in my ad creative right like this. Now, if I want to, I can still go ahead and make edits and changes to my advertisement right here within 
the ads manager. So something wasn't quite right in the Creative Hub. Well, I still have the chance to change it right now. Additionally, I can scroll on down here and I can add additional text options. So if I wanna run multiple variations, I can go ahead and do that. Same concept with the headline right here. And I could adjust my call to action, add info labels and so on. So all your typical ad creation options are available to you. You just didn't have to start from scratch because you built most of it in the Creative Hub. So anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. Search the likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazyarmarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.